In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I create this ombre effect with the glitter on a key ring. Um, so you've got this dusky pink option in the craft kits. You have this sapphire option and then also the pastel green option. Each come with their own matching glitters for you to be able to create this gorgeous design. Now you can either put quotes on like I've done on some of these or you can just add an initial and put a name on them um, to personalize them even more. Um, but these two quotes are are going to be available in the kit so let me show you guys what will be available you will have those two quotes that I've just shown you um, they will already be weeded and transfer tape applied for you ready to go then you'll also have your clear stuff you just need to open this little tube and decant it into your little container then you'll have the clasps I'm giving you a gunmetal clasp and then a gold clasp as well and with that you will have your two hexagon acrylic shapes they are larger to fit those quotes on then you're going to have dusky pink uh, gel paint and then gold rush glitter for this selection. Now that we have all our goodies together, let's start creating these key rings or let me show you how to do the ombre effect. So you will always have to remove your protective film from your key ring. There will be one on each side. I'm just grabbing a piece of paper there because I'm working on a silicone mat, but I always just work on a piece of paper as well, especially when I'm going to sprinkle some glitter so I don't waste it. So first decant your clear stuff into your little container and then grab some clear stuff and just paint it on. So the clear stuff is basically a adhesive. It's a UV adhesive of mine um, that will help me adhere the glitter to the acrylic blank rather than using glue. So just spread that everywhere. Even if you're only going to put glitter on half of it, I would recommend spreading it everywhere. Um, otherwise you will see a clear line where you've had clear stuff and where you haven't. Now that we've painted that on nicely, I'm just smoothing it out and then we're going to close the clear stuff because we don't want it to accidentally cure and we're going to grab our glitter and then add our glitter to this piece. Now if you're going to go straight out of the little packet, use that label as a little strengthening or scoop. Make sure it's at the bottom and just buckle it out and then just sprinkle glitter just on the one edge. Uh, you don't want to try and sprinkle it into the ombre. You want to just sprinkle it on and then using your trusty brush, just move that glitter across and just carefully create a little ombre effect. Now with this, I take my time um, <laughs> because I like the glitter to not be perfect, but I don't know. There's just sometimes it just looks like glitter is just chucked on and I don't want to have that effect. So I take my time here uh, just to make sure that the ombre effect looks nicely, make sure that I've got enough coming across into the clear. And then once I am happy with that, I'm going to get that cured and pop that into the LED light. Before I do that, I just make sure that my brush is out of the way so that I don't accidentally cure my brush. And there you go, all nicely done. Now let's just move it to the side and then pop the nail light on it and I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. When that curing is done, I'm going to remove the acrylic blank from that but because there's thick glitter on that side, uh, on the edge, I'm going to just cure it again from the other side just to make sure I've got a full cure underneath that glitter. Once I'm done with that, I'll remove it and it will be rough because of the type of glitter that we've used. If you use a super fine glitter, it won't be that rough. Um, so we're going to sort that problem out in a second. First, you know, I'm just going to scoop the glitter back because I'm not going to waste glitter. That's just bad luck as far as I'm concerned. And just putting that away. Then now to get the edges smooth, um, you can just go ahead and use a emery board is all I use and just angle it on the side and just file it down. It won't damage the acrylic. Don't go too hard because you will also file the acrylic then. Um, you just want to remove all of the glitter on the edge to give that edge a smooth feeling. Then on the top, it's going to be the same. It's going to be a bit rough like there. I've got some glitter standing up. So I'm just going to use the emery board flat on that just to smooth that over because I don't want the back to look very bumpy. Once I'm happy with that and that's nice and smooth, we can then go ahead and just tidy up where we've just filed. So just use, I use a lint roller just to pick up all of those dust pieces or glitter pieces. And then we're ready to paint. So for my gel paint for this design, I've chosen the dusky pink. So I'm just going to open that. There will be a protective seal on this. So just remove that seal carefully. And I don't like to waste, so I just scrape off and make sure that I've got all the gel paint 
inside the pot and then we're going to use our trusty brush and we're going to brush on the gel paint now i'm going to leave this in normal speed um, so you can see the whole paint process because i want you guys to see how thin i actually paint on that layer if you do a thick layer you're going to get a ripple effect when you cure essentially what happens is only the top layer cures and the gel paint underneath doesn't and as soon as the gel paint then cools down it will create this ripple effect on the top if that ever happens it just means that you've painted it on too thick so rather than having a reject just paint a thin layer on like I've done here you can rather do more than one layer uh, I've done up to four layers on some of them once I'm happy I'm closing my gel paint getting it away and curing that piece for 60 seconds then when it comes out I'm going to paint on the second layer just because I don't want it to be too see-through or translucent um, with a dusky pink you really only need two layers some of the other colors you might need one or two extra layers um, on top of the first layer but with this one we just need to do two layers and the second layer is far easier to paint on and you'll use a lot less product and you can see how much is still left in the tub and how little I've actually used so one of those little tubs actually goes a really long way then when I'm happy with that and it's all nice and smoothed out I'm going to pop that under the light get my gel paint away or close it to clean my brush I'm just going to take some tissue paper and squeeze the gel paint out from it I don't necessarily clean my brush this is how I clean it and then reuse it but if you wanted to you can grab some acetone and clean your brush with acetone I don't really need to because I use it every day um, but if you do want to you can use acetone now that that is cured we're going to pull that out and it will be sticky at this stage which is why we're going to use the clear stuff to seal this in so straight with your trusty brush into your clear stuff and then just paint a layer on now top tip here if you want a nice smooth finish like you would get if you use uv resin or epoxy resin your clear stuff layer needs to be thicker um, so I normally pour it on when I do that and then just spread it to the edges, let it stand for a minute so it can level out nicely and then I will cure it. Or if you don't mind the bumpiness effect, um, which sometimes looks kind of cute, you can just paint it on and then cure it like that. Just always make sure that you put your clear stuff away. So now you can also use your glitter and add some glitter to the back um, if you wanted to decorate it anymore or you can just leave it plain for this one i'm just going to leave it plain and just cure it like that so all you need to do is get that under the light and then we're going to cure that again for 60 seconds then when that 60 seconds is up you're halfway there already all we're going to do now is we're just going to clean off the edges of this if you are anything like me you would have gone over the edges with the gel paint or the clear stuff when you brushed it on even if just by a little bit so just to get a nice clean um, edge I'm just using my craft knife here and I just scrape the paint off it comes off really easily you don't even need to like cut in deeply it just literally scrapes off if you didn't want to use a craft knife you can also use your emery board and file them off um, I just like to use my craft knife for it instead now for my absolute favorite part is the reveal so I'm just going to pull back on that protector film on the front to reveal my design and just look how stunning that looks I absolutely love the combination of the dusky pink and the gold rush the gold rush is different shades of gold and shapes and sizes of the gold glitter now let's add our quote to this one so you can make your selection of which one you want to add. I'm going to go with craft your stress away because that's what I love doing. Um, so this is already on the transfer tape. So just scrape that on the back just to make sure it's adhered properly and then pull away the transfer tape from the backing sheet and then just position that over your key ring. And once you have it in the right position, then just pop that down. And then I use the scraper. I think this is a wallpaper applicator, but you can just use like a loyalty card or a credit card to do the same. Just go over all of the letters over the whole piece just to make sure that it's stuck down properly. And then we're going to pull away that transfer tape, leaving the quote behind on the keyring blank. Now just go slow here because you don't want to rip any of those letters because you will then have to remove the quote and cut another one. Um, for that transfer tape, don't throw it away guys. Just put it back on the backing paper because you can use it 
several more times. Believe me, I've used, I've actually used one of those pieces, I think about, I'm going to say 15 extra times. I'm just going to grab my clasp and add that to the key ring. And then that is your key ring done. But if you wanted to make it extra special, there's this dingly dangly bit on the clasp that I just used to add my little zhuzhis on. So my zhuzhi is just literally my heart and bow combination. It's a little charm that I've created just to make it a little bit more special. I will link the little heart and bow pieces in the description as well if you want to grab those. But of course you can use any other um, charm that you want to add to it. So I'm just going to open that uh, jump ring and then hook in that little piece of the clasp. Close that up and then that is a beautiful key ring done. Ready to give away as a gift or for you to keep for yourself. Look how gorgeous that looks. And with that juju on it just makes it even more special. And that's both of the quotes together there. So I will link the uh, craft kit in the description below for you as well if you wanted to grab that. If you use the permanent vinyl, you don't actually have to seal the front. So don't worry about it scraping off. But you can go ahead and seal it with resin if you wanted to. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, please do hit that subscribe button and the like button. And I will see you in the next video.